So this is Flo from my backyard to the ocean painting number three. And we are at Boulder Bridge in Washington, D.C., just north of the National Zoo. And this is a registered historic landmark, Boulder Bridge. It was built in 1902, and there were no roads to it. It was just um, a bridge to go over the water and actually was accessible by horse and buggy and foot only. It was in the 1930s, I think, when they finally built roadways to it. And now it's part of the Rock Creek Park, which is now we're in the national park system. And so this beautiful river that is flowing through here is Rock Creek, and it is a tributary to the Potomac River. And love, love, love our parks. This is my heart. We've had a lot of stormy, really big, powerful rainstorms lately. And the sand down here was not here the last time I was here painting. And so I'm thinking it maybe like with the flooding, the waters came up from the creek all the way up here and washed down all everything that was up here. So the flow from my backyard, from the King Latrells to Lake Needwood, all the way down here to DC, there's again, like at Lake Needwood, there's a ton of litter here. And so when I leave, I will take my bag and my glove and pick up all the trash and take it home with me because I want to leave the world a better place. And so that's what I'm trying to accomplish with my paintings out here in plein air paintings in a place that I love so much. And I want us all to love our world and our parks and take care of our waterways. So there's my heart, you have it. And here is my painting in progress. It is not done yet. So, um, one of the challenges of plein air painting, you know, when you do a painting this size and this detail, it takes a long time. And um, so I'm not a super fast painter. The light changes on me constantly during the day. So in the morning, the water's really dark and there's a lot of shadows in it. In the afternoon, it's all lit up and the bridge is lit up. And in the morning, the bridge is dark. So <laughs> one of the challenges. So after I get done putting all the final detail pieces into the painting, I'll let it dry completely. And then I'll go back over it with glazes. So glazes are just a little bit of pigment and um, color, and then a lot of the glazing medium. And you put it all over the painting and wipe off where you don't want it to be. And so that helps pull the painting all together. So thank you for tuning in for number three flow painting at Boulder Bridge in Washington, D.C. And um, the next painting, the next flow painting will be at um, probably, I think, Roosevelt Island, where I will be painting the Rock Creek as it flows into the Potomac River. So that'll be the fourth flow painting. So stay tuned and we'll see you next time. Thanks.